Hello, everyone. I am back again. Thought it'd be fun to do some Christmas signs since it's that time of year. At least if you live in the West. But first, since I forgot to do the alphabet in my last instructional video, I'm just going to do it in this one. So this is the alphabet in sign language. First you have A. Make sure all your fingers are down, thumb is up. B. Make sure your thumb is in. C. Somehow no one ever has a problem understanding why this is C. D. If you look to the side, it looks kind of like D. Make sure you're touching. Now, E is a little tricky because I've had people tell me I'm doing it wrong if I do it like this. And other people say it's fine to do it like this. Technically, you're supposed to do it with your fingers touching your thumb. Kind of looks like a smile. E. And then F. F's a little bit harder, but looks like everything's fine. F. G. So you're going to have your thumb and your finger point out. And you're supposed to hold it like this. So G. H. Both fingers, thumb pointing out parallel. H. I. Another easy one. Pinky up. Tuck your thumb, or some people do it like this. I find this easier. J is I, but you hook it. J. It's one of the only two you actually make a motion to do. Other than rearranging your fingers, that is. K. So these two fingers are up. And put your thumb in. It does look kind of like a K. L. Duh. But don't put it on your forehead. M, three fingers over your thumb. N, two fingers over your thumb. O, another easy one. You're supposed to relax it a little bit, though. Looks kind of like an egg. O. P is like K, but usually like you stick this finger out a little further and you point it down so it's kind of standing. P. Then Q is G, but also pointed down. R. Cross your fingers. Fingers crossed. S is just a fist with your thumb over. People get S and A confused. Just remember, your thumb is here for A, it's in for S. All right. T. Cross this finger over your thumb. T, like you're crossing the T. U, just stick your fingers up. Do not cross them with this one, obviously. V, peace out. W, no duh, right? X, you hook this finger like this. Looks kind of like you're being Captain Hook. I think that actually is the sign for Captain Hook, but I'm not sure. Why? Hang loose. And you draw Z. Pretty easy. Okay. Now for some Christmas signs. As you probably figured out, this is Christmas. I've seen Christmas with one hand. I think there's a variation where you can make it like Santa day. But you don't have to do that. This is easiest Christmas. Christmas. Merry or happy. So take your flat hand, move it upward like you're up, but you're happy. It's just welling up inside you. Happy, merry, and then holiday. It 
it's kind of like you're snapping suspenders. You put your thumbs here, stick your fingers out, kind of curve your hands. Holidays. This is also vacation. Holiday. Happy holiday. If you need a vacation after the holidays, you better hope they understand your context. All right, holiday. Tree. Okay, camera's a little bit small, so I'll just hand on your elbow, wiggle it like your tree standing up, so you do Christmas tree. On the tree, you might have some lights. You probably would have to act this out, do Christmas lights, and then on the tree, just like you're finding the lights around the tree. So that definitely would probably just describe, but just for the noun, Christmas tree is fine. And at the top of the tree, you might have a star. So you're just gonna get your D hand shapes here and move it up like the sparks are shooting out of the top of the star. The star might shine. This is shine. This is shimmer, glitter, but shine will cover most of those things. Now, if you do not have a star on top of your tree, then you might have an angel. Touch your shoulders, then flap your wings. Just wings is this. Angel's a little bit more specific. Now, if you don't have a tree, we'll get to that. But if you do have a tree under the tree, I hope you have some presents. X fingers, move it forward like you're handing a box to someone. Presents, gift. And if you're getting the gift, you might kind of pull it back. Okay, gifts. And tree, lights, obviously, if you do not live where it doesn't snow, then you want snow. So, a lot of people confuse snow and rain, and outside of sign language, it doesn't really matter. But technically, inside rain, you kind of hook, close your, hook your fingers, and it looks kind of like you're pounding on a piano. So, it always makes me think of that little... April shower song from Disney, which I did if you want to like look at my channels. Oh no, I didn't do that yet. I just practiced it. Forget that. Okay. Coming soon, maybe. All right. Snow. So snow is actually what most people do for rain, but it's lighter snow. This is like heavy snow. Blizzard. You can I would wave it more. Or you could sign wind. Wind and snow. It's a lot more likely to rain than snow where I live. All right, so snowing, and you might see Santa Claus. So you can have a beard. I don't honestly remember the sign very well because I don't really use Santa Claus. I don't think I have a, it in my sign book, but I it's something like this. Sorry. Oh, what about some colors? Santa Claus wears red. Usually white. Black. Gold. Green. That's with a G. Green. You might see some blue, probably not on Santa Claus, but on your tree decorations and purple, maybe even pink if you're more trendy, new kind of stuff. And, well, I guess there's gray. I see gray all the time. And a little bit brown. Okay. 
So gifts, Santa, lights, trees, but let's not forget Christmas carols. So there's a couple different ways you could sign song. You can do the sign for music and a lot of people do, but I've seen this other sign where it kind of looks, you have this closed hand and I think it's supposed to look more like your voice. And then you do this. And I just prefer to use that because um, the differentiation. But it doesn't really matter that much. Um, I've also seen like singing more with like the sign for voice. But that I haven't seen that a lot. This is voice though. And this is choir. You just use a C or maybe chorus even. And that actually brings me to their whole reason for the season. All right, now you may not celebrate Christmas. I really only know the sign for Hanukkah beyond Christmas and it's four fingers like this. But if you celebrate Christmas specifically, you're gonna wanna know Jesus, obviously. Christ. You take it from your shoulder. I can't really fit, but like to your waist, like it's one of those royal ribbons they wear. I don't know what they're called. Um, Messiah is with an M and King is with a K. And presumably ruler would probably be with an R. And... Holy, you take your H hand shape, kind of move it in a circle and spread it out like the sign for clean. Holy. Divine is with a D. I believe there's another variation or something else, but I don't remember that one. Holy and divine usually going to have you covered. Night, like this. And of course we have angels already. What about maybe the wise men? This is wise, like your ex, and this is man. All right, Mary is, kind of take your M and you bring it from your forehead to your shoulder, kind of like her hood, Mary, Virgin Mary specifically. This is baby. You could probably guess that one. This is birth or born. This is bless. All right. It's a lot of signs. I feel like I, I might want to stop there. I don't want to do too many at once, but I don't want to forget anything either. Did the gifts. Oh yeah, the month. So December 25th is we celebrate Christmas on. You could also sign 25th L5. Or you can just move your middle finger. I always find that one confusing. But very common to do it that way. I do it like this. So December 25th and 24th is Christmas Eve. I believe you just finger spell Eve. All right, with that in mind... Merry Christmas. I know this may be the last video I do before Christmas. Unless I do one more Christmas song. Which I do have an idea for that. So uh, stay posted. Want to see more of this, subscribe. Or don't if you don't want to. But I would appreciate it. Anyway. 
have great holiday season. We'll see you later. Bye.